Hey, so we have a few species that we teach in the lab using specimens of the fruits. There are specimens that you'll need to know, um, species you'll need to know just from the fruit alone. There are often species that are important to know if you're going to learn dendrology. Um, we'll learn some western species which are important as we learn for some North America and also some North Carolina species that are not readily available on campus. So the species I'm going to teach and I'm going to use um, Duncan Frazier's um, drawings that he made last year for his honors project in dendrology to teach Fraxinus caroliniana. So um, we have Fraxinus caroliniana. You can see that um, it is, has compound leaves and opposite, just like other Fraxinus. Um, so other ash trees, and you've got our other two ashes displayed up here. So Fraxinus caroliniana is a coastal species. Um, it is an obligate wetland, so of all the um, ash that we have in our flora, the one that is most water tolerant, often found in standing water. Um, and so it's also the smallest of our ash trees. It does get fairly large, but maximum size about 40 feet. And um, for the species that we teach not in the field, um, of the ones that we teach in lab, we teach you just using the fruit, and that is how you might identify it on a quiz, right? So. If I ask you if this is tree number four or tree number one, um, and I hold this up, you'll need to be able to identify it to Fraxinus caroliniana. So um, like other ashes, it has a Samara as a fruit type. So, but you can see right away, right? So in this case, you've got the seed right here at the base of this Samara, and then the wing widens out. So this is a really wide um, wing for Fraxinus caroliniana or Carolina ash and also called um, pop ash or water ash. So that's another, two other common names for it. And um, so you can see it's really wide, very different, right, than the tapered Samaras that Fraxinus americana and Fraxinus pennsylvanica have. So water ash, pop ash, or um, Carolina ash is found on the um, coast in the southeastern coastal plain, an obligate wetland species. So that means if you're an environmental consultant doing wetland delineation, you need to be able to identify wetland plants, and this is one that is obligate wetland. So if you find it in a wet, if you find it, you're definitely in a wetland, and that's a wrap.